found out we on the spectrum like rainbow colors and we the devil is an angel brother you tried to make the new world i couldn't change the other i took a bite of a peach from my yard and made me want to thank my mother for dealing with a hyperactive awkward not attractive honest writer at the artist who hasn't made a piece since his bed pads you never know when you'll be hearing that last laugh that last word that last fight that last buck Take the Uber Eats driver, that last buck Two spicy chickens with fries outside a mansion With no heart in it, on the I-85 The driver asked for a pick, uploaded it They unloaded on the board, we call it an instant switch A different rich, move to the mountains and buy a farm A white boy took his daughter to prom That shit for rhyme, right? The hate is mom type We should be having that crisis hardly Headline touching his ears, dressing like Steve Harvey Going to dinner, Seamoss, drinking, playing to dinner I'm a classic man Different color rings, calling everybody kings I'm a whole classic man My father couldn't show me how to get old Maybe they pay you, don't go free, order the clothes Maybe the road, shop at the store, get bucks less and listen some more Put up 33 and a fourth and kiss the floor Build a table around that peace tree Cream from your cow like half a cup Pull three peaches to cut them up A little vanilla but not too much Try to tell me that ain't fresh as fuck Bought an M3, told your son try not to mess it up I can't sneak the prints all over my shit I'm finding happiness the older I get I bought my mom's spot with no deposit I watch them run for themselves, that shit is serious I'm a man who provides, you can't embarrass us you shake your hands with these mans because you obligated And said we friends when really we only compensated Music's predatory, still here You can't ignore me, not everyone's happy for me That's life, my baby mama's my wife And when you do something right, there's not a hater in sight They try to say he peak with his damn past I need life, not the lifestyle I go to loud, my neighbor asked me to pipe down Three stacks saying that ain't shit to write down I did that colonoscopy first I piss on all of you haters and leave the seat up don't trust the mother of your child, need a prenup A billion streams but can't sell an arena Nah, I couldn't be all the stadium lights My name the bright neon I'm fucking up these hoes on my back floor Baby cat, I'ma make a lake on this cash flow If you ain't really wanna know the truth, what you ask for, I'm gassed up We gon' fuck them up like a tape, keep keep free Y'all ain't got no taste, y'all should eat free Kids play, it's a different day, I'm a different beast Enough said, get on major bed, we got different sheets I'm been straight, y'all seem happy though uh -huh. Big house, big bank, but is you happy though? Yeah, is you happy though? I might be on one I just bought some acres off of fruit funds Dumb in case, I'm a thug that I was holding coupons Air one, water in my see-through If I bring my nigga to the table, he gon' eat too yeah. Niggas tight like it's me too And I just got my switch back Activate my core like a six-pack Lay out a big net Buzz a beater like a free throw Got my shorts but my knees hold Niggas capping like a keystroke Yeah, everybody go Call you Donald Glover or Childish Gambino right now? Call me Donald. This is Donald. I'm Donald. This is Donald. So the follow-up to that is, where is Childish Gambino? And what <laughs> happened to him? <laughs> uh, nothing. He grew up. No, he's 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 fine. I, I think, um, you know, I, Childish Gambino was always, like, a project that I wanted like you know it's funny like I, I i just remembering this um rizza from wu-tang when i when first started coming he, he was going to direct a video for me and i think he said something about he's like i think childish gambino is like the story of a, a, a boy turning into a boss and i always that always kind of stuck with me where it's like but also i feel like 
it was always just me trying to like still have fun like you know like not be an adult you know so Childish Gambino he he worked on this last project and then yeah and then I think he just walked he just walked into the ocean and just never so when you say last project just to be clear what are we speaking about there's a uh, there's a project you know the project i put out the, the 31520 yeah love yeah. that no, no one. one's ever heard of. <laughs> 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 that was like you know like kind of like people didn't even know i put it out it was was originally titled at a vista it was supposed yeah, to be at wow. a vista and um but we put it out kind of like quickly. I didn't master and mix it. I, I just kind of put it out because, you know, I was going through a lot and like, you know, niggas thought everybody was going to die because <laughs> it was, you know, the pandemic. So uh, we put it out, but we, I, I, we finished it it's at a Vista. We're putting that out. But then after that, there's a, 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 a Childish Gambino album, like Ooh. the final Childish Gambino. Just I just drop, dropped a big out, but we I, I, we finished it it's at a Vista. We're putting that out, but then after that, there's a a, a, a Childish Gambino album, like the final Childish Gambino album. Okay, yeah. pause for a second. Yeah. Let's okay, just, just I just drop dropped a big. Steps. Yeah, we'll do it in yeah. steps. Number one, I genuinely did love that three fifteen twenty album, even though uh, you know I just was completely confused on how to say I loved it. Uh, yeah, because it was just numbers. There's no oh, context. Yeah, but there was it's a hard. song, and it felt really folky. I absolutely love that song. I don't oh know. yeah, Little Foot, Big Foot. Okay, There's a song. video for that. There's a video. Yeah, yeah it's great. great. And when is that? I I think it's in the next couple of weeks. Like, Hero directed it. Wow. You know, like, you know, it's it's. I love the video. It just looks great, and it feels good. But I always thought I was like I was always like that. That song is our hey y'all a little bit. It's like a really sad song. Kids love that song. Kids, but it's yeah, yeah it's but it's <laughs> kids love that song. My son loves that song. But yeah, it's like you know that 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 song. It, there's not a lot. It's not easy to to put that album into context. And I feel like I kind of learned that because I was like originally. It's just hard with streaming because if it was just an album, you just kind of you. There's certain boundaries, right. but it's streaming. Right. Oh. So even the time code thing it's like you know that's not how people listen to music anymore it, it works i feel like this album that album works better as a vinyl and the special vinyl we have coming out for this i think makes it all make sense okay i got you yeah. and, th and there was something else you said about a new project yeah what are you fucking talking about <laughs> you sound like Every fan on Reddit, like right now, is just like, what the hell? You know, we've been asking uh, for it so long. You have, I mean, like, well, this project is for you guys, honestly. This project is, I, I swear, like, this project. You know, I just wanted to say thanks because I feel like you, the, my fans have been so patient, and I feel like they've been starving, and they're great fans. They're like some of the, my favorite people. And that's hard. Some people get fans and they don't like them, right. you know, and I feel like my fans, I'm re I really love them. And this project is for them. And it's like, you know, I, I started working on this film called Bando Stone in the New World. And I always loved soundtracks. Like, you know, I love the Batman soundtrack that, that, that Prince did. I love the Batman Forever soundtrack. You know, soundtracks were a big thing in the 90s. And um, this last Childish Gambino album is a soundtrack to this film. So and and it's for, you know, my fans. That sounds exciting. It's it's great. I love it. I, I think it sounds great. Is is this a Charles Gambino project though? Just to reiterate, this is a, yeah, like it's a it's a, an original soundtrack done by Charles Gambino. That's amazing. I cannot wait for this. This is no, nice. Great. It's it's really cool. With so, I just wanted to size up. Um, I had this, you know, as the salacious shit. Yeah. And not because I'm forced to, it's because I want to. Okay. Um, I'm here for you it. You've seen what has happened recently, the big three debate, um, state of music in general. I'm always curious about what you think about some of these things because it seems like you come from a place of purity, but it still ends up divisive. Yeah. And 
I'm curious just what you think about where music is now amid also specifically sort of like your thoughts on Cole and Kendrick and Drake and everything that's happened. Yeah. Yeah, I just feel like, you know, we're all growing up. It's it's just not, you know, music is, you know, it's so ubiquitous. I don't think people give enough credit to the fact that it's like when I was a kid, it was it was pretty hard to hear music whenever you wanted. Like, and then the, the radio was dictated by gatekeepers. Like people were telling you what to listen to, even when you did. And but there were no iPods. There were no like you know maybe you had a disc man, maybe you had a tape player. I, I remember I had a tape player, but so music in general is like you know, you know I forgot who was who was saying this, but like the, the artist who was, but he's like yeah, it's like you you it. It's like everything else. It's like it's it's worthless unless you add put value on it. You know the streams don't make it va- va- value. It's so crazy that we have all music of all time at our fingertips. So it makes things less valuable in a sense unless we add value to them. And I feel like that's we're we're kind of seeing that with the Kendrick and Drake thing, <laughs> like the Kendrick Drake J Cole thing, where it's like yeah, like we're all you know man, we all got kids, man. Like we're all growing up and this like wrestler idea of like this person stands for this and this person is like man nah we're we're all people like a, a little bit and like we can't we're not th- that part of you know i think i saw like somebody be like man therapy ruined hip-hop like kind of thing and i'm like <laughs> man do you got like you know i'm a little bit no nah, not even a little bit i honestly feel this way i sort of feel like man fuck the culture Man, the culture, the culture has niggas afraid to wear sandals. <laughs> it's like, Is this true? I'm like, we're like, what What are we doing? It was a socks like, and sandals era for sure. Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, what are we doing? You're afraid to show your toes? Everyone has them. Like, why are we beholden to this thing that's like kind of wants us to fight? Vince Staples had already kind of said that a little bit. And, he, and he's right. Like, it's like, you guys, like, we we've we've reached it we've reached the zenith like what do you what what do we want from this actually and if the only thing you want is wrestling it's like yeah like because it's not about the beef like there's beef there's real beef you know niggas die every day in chicago over real beef like niggas die every day in atlanta over real beef it's not about the beef what is it about this genre the where you're like i need this to be about the bars and like you know, it's like, well, what about the expression, you know? And and like, yeah, like, I just feel like we're growing up. Like, this is a natural part of it. Do you feel like you have a space in all of this? And if, and if you don't, then what is your space? Like, what do you represent within all of this? I'm, I'm, I'm the Willy Wonka of this shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm the Willy Wonka of this shit. Like, I'm not... You know, I feel like I have a space when I talk to Tyler. He's always like, man, it's it's just, it's us, man. Like, what's us? <laughs> you know, kind of. Yeah, and great performance, by the way, yesterday. That was incredible. Thank, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Like, I think, uh, no, but I mean, like, I love what Tyler's doing. I love what he stands for. And there is something, you know, like, we all have imposter syndrome on some level. But I do believe it when he's, he tells me, he's like, man, you know, I get excited by what you're doing, like, you know, and I feel like I'm not in, I'm not in that circle. Like, you know, I, I feel like I'm the court jester on the outside. Like, I'm like, cause I, I just want to have fun. You know, I, I feel like in a weird way, I'm a, I'm a, I'm kind of, I, cause I grew up with like those videos from like Busta Rhymes and Missy and Ludacris and like people were having fun. And in a weird way, like, I always liked that stuff, but I was like, no, but this fun should be serious. You know, it should kind of reflect, you know, Disney and all that stuff is, it is fun, but there's always a scary part. There's always something that's real. There's always something that makes you, you know, when I did Coachella years ago, I remember, like, people were really, like, kind of freaked out by the fact that I was like, you know, <laughs> one of y'all is gonna die. Oh, that's exactly next week. what you want to hear with your own Molly. Is <laughs> yeah, but it it wasn't to like get a reaction. It was just the truth. Absolutely, it was just the truth. One of those people in that crowd, more than one, is not here today. <laughs> <laughs> They're, <laughs> They're not, not around. around, and we have to be 
honest with ourselves and it'll make us grateful for the moment. I don't say things to be salacious. I don't say things to like piss people off. It's like, yeah, like if you got a problem with me, you know, Kid Cudi, if you got a problem, like I'm I, I'm not here for the beef. It's like, talk to me. That's real therapy, by the way. You yeah. Actually talk to people. Yeah, yeah actually talk, talk to people, yeah. you know, because yeah. I was like, we don't have to agree on everything, but we also don't have to be like, yeah, when I see you, we have to want to kill each other. It's like, I don't, man, life is too short. Then there's other stakes and in individual lives that matter more than people that you don't interact with. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. So that was great. I don't want to keep you here. I know you got to go back to the farm. Uh, and this is a special situation, but I do want to ask you about Gelga. Um, yeah. Because I keep hearing about it. And I don't know too much about it as much as I'm on Gilga Radio. <laughs> You're doing a great job for somebody who doesn't know a well, lot about you. what they're doing. Thank I just you. Want to tell thank you. you. I show up anytime. No, you show yeah, up. That's what I do. You really are. Yeah. Um, no, Gilga is just a, you know, it's a place to grow trust. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the, the that's the easiest way to define it to me. I feel like we're... we're we we got the world that everybody wanted and you know early 2000s was everybody being like yo like there's no more gatekeepers and everybody can do what they want and, and now, now we're realizing they, it's like yeah, yeah now that you have the entire store, store what's the good exactly. stuff exactly yeah you know what's the good stuff and let's be honest nigga a lot of niggas don't have taste yeah and because they grew up in a time where it didn't matter it was just like well what's the most popular toy and i'm like yeah like popularity it doesn't mean much anymore because people realize it's like, yeah, like, you know, like the the things that are popular just mean that they're they're loved and hated by the most amount of people. Right. It doesn't mean that it's necessarily functional in your everyday life or adds a, a different point of view. It adds a different lens in your pocket to see things. And I feel like Gilg is a place to grow those things Organic. organically. Mm -hmm. uh, are there some things you're growing right now? Yeah, well, I mean, we're literally growing like oranges, mulberries, bananas, you know, kale. We got some dandelion. We got avocados. You know, we're starting to work on more berries, um, grapefruit. And then, you know, we, we, we grow a lot of stuff, but a lot of oranges as well. But also just we started making like, you know, um, we got this anime with Zach Fox that I'm really wow. excited about. He, he did it. He's doing a great job. I, I got this other cartoon I'm doing. I got this Country Mouse, City Mouse. Um, you know, Bando Stone in the New World like is like a temple of ours. You know, I'm I'm really excited by the things that we're making because they're all like, when I say organic, it's like these are not things made to. The, the process is the product, right? You know, right, kind of right. So it was cool. Well, I'll say this: I'm not an excitable person, but Simone is excited. This is great. You seem excited. I mean, this is excited. decibel wires. This is as high as you're going to get me. <laughs> but I really want to thank you for your time. I think we've you're unpacked really a lot in a short span of time. Uh, I'm going to let you go. But this is Gilga Radio. This is Simone signing off. Uh, and thank you. Thank you. The Taco Bell Bando Bar.